Valdemar Galvan is calling for Bigfoot to show itself here in Normana, just north of Beeville. Sometimes they're, they're close by, you can hear knocking or shaking of a tree or something, but they'll let you know that they're close by. <coughs> Galvan says this area along Medio Creek is a favorite hangout for the creature. He runs the Bee County Bigfoot Research Group. When I saw it, it looked just like a person, it looked like a man in two legs. Here inside the historic McClanahan House in Beeville, Galvan and other Bigfoot believers agreed to go on uh, TV in the hopes that others would step forward with their own stories of the beast. Why is Bigfoot so elusive if there is, in fact, such an animal that's seven, eight, nine feet tall in Texas? A lot of people have seen him around here. Mainly it's along the creeks. That's Richard Robbie, a local real estate agent. He showed us a picture that he took of what he feels was a structure built by one of the creatures. The blood runs cold. That was his reaction after he and his grandson spotted one along a creek bed. We learned of one of the first supposed Bigfoot sightings in the county. That happened in Normana back in 1925 when the creature surprised some cowboys inside a ranch house. He actually stick his whole head into the window and the gentleman said his mouth was this big and his eyes were so big. And, uh, and then so the animal made a, a just <gasps> sound out in there and, uh, and then so the animal took off. Felix Abrego remembered the day he was working on a ranch and spotted the thing. The one I saw was, had to have been like nine foot tall. And his hands were below his knees and he was just taking big old steps but it, like he was leisure, out for a leisure walk. That encounter seemed to have made a real impression. And I tell you what, I don't go out in the brush by myself no more. And if I do, I take a big gun. Back in March, here just outside of Normana, a ranch hand was working in this same exact spot when his dogs began to bark. Then they took off running towards something. When he took a look, well, it was simply too hard to believe. And I see this, <laughs> this looked like this big old black shadow that just seemed to, to be you know, walking across the street. Edward Robinson got into his truck and raced to get a closer look, but it was gone by the time he got there. I wish somebody would find a, a, a good picture or, 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 or a, a family or group of them, you know what I'm saying? It can't be just one in all of this area that's just traveling around, you know, doing stuff. It's gotta be more than one. We've been doing research for 35 years on rare and elusive mammal species. Bigfoot is not real. It does not exist. While mainstream scientists say a creature like this doesn't exist, Galvan and his research group will continue looking for the evidence here in Normana that Bigfoot is more than just a legend. From Bee County, Michael Gibson, 3 News.